Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, Merry Christmas to you all. I haven't spoken to you since before when we spoke about the broken computer situation. Um, news on that, I have uh, a good friend I've built a couple of computers for who actually had one uh, spare after I replaced his last. So he's actually lent me this one so we can still make some content, um, which is just fantastic. So, as I said, I hope you've all had a good Christmas. I know what I've had. It's been friggin' brilliant. Friends, family, celebrations, lots of food, lots of uh, drinks and music. So it's been fantastic. It's been really, really good. But at Christmas, as you know, we all get gifts. Now, based on that, we have a video I'm going to be doing now of setting up the new gifts that we got. So, starting from left to right, we have pretty cool uh, PlayStation icons light to put possibly in the background over here somewhere might have to rearrange some of this to make it work somehow we also have um, this which is a Behringer Zenix uh, X1204 uh, USB mixer that is going to go with an AT2020 XLR mic um, so we are going to be stepping away from the blue snowball now don't get me wrong the Blue Snowball is a fantastic mic, uh, it's served me well for probably about two years now. If I hadn't got the new one I would still be using it. There's one big flaw I find with the Blue Snowball. Um, I don't know if it's just the connection I'm using on that specific cable or the fact that I'm using a boom boom arm. Uh, you can get these with like the kind of tripod, probably wouldn't affect you but you obviously move one of these around quite a lot when you're uh, streaming, recording, playing with friends and stuff. And I find with this cable, obviously you've got to try and tuck it away around or whatever. Um, and the problem is, the connection on the back, it's actually very easy to pull out. And when it does that, I don't actually uh, get any alerts on the computer. So if I just slightly tug that, it disconnects. So when I'm streaming or recording, or, or even playing with mates, just playing with games in general. That disconnects whenever I move my boom arm from time to time. And uh, I can't have that. That's really, really annoying because I could be talking forever. And uh, I, I, I'm completely oblivious to it, so it's useless. So we're going to be upgrading that. Plus, the, the, the obviously, the AT2020 with the mixer is going to uh, just kind of hopefully make that uh, the, the, the voice just a, a bit better quality wise and. Uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to playing around with that. This is new to me. I've never really used a mixer. So, um, yeah, that's going to be fun. We also have this. Now, I really, really did not expect this. I was absolutely blown away. So, my daughter and her partner actually bought me this. Uh, they went halves. Um, I had no idea that I was getting this. It's the K65 RGB um, with Cherry MX mechanical keys. It's also the the, the, sh the short version, so it, there's, no, um, there's no number pad on. As you can see from the one at the back here, which is my K55, um, fantastic keyboard. Love this thing to pieces um, with the with the numpad. I use this a lot, but you know I've got a wide. Let me try and slide this around a little bit. I can't slide it around much. But I've got quite a wide mouse pad all the way across. And when I'm playing certain FPS games like Overwatch or Call of Duty, even then I don't have much room to swing my mouse around. So it just made sense <coughs> to get something like this. But I think I mentioned it once and a couple of months ago, and I haven't brought it up again since. And she took that initiative, remembered, and then just handed me this on Christmas Day, which was just phenomenal. I was over the moon. Um, so we can't wait to get that set up. If anyone knows I'm a big Overwatch fan, I play a lot of Overwatch. And uh, so my daughter also bought me a Overwatch logo light. So again, we'll probably have to sort something out around here. I don't know how I'm going to do it. Also, the last video before the last would be the um, the sword video, I believe. Where we've got the swords up on the wall here. And uh, we unboxed the new Hattori Han Hanzo sword. And we were trying to decide whether we're going to put it up on the wall with those there. Or somewhere else, like behind the chair. And as you probably have already given it away several times in this video, we have gone on the back there on its Atori, Atori Hanzo stand. There's some other daggers there. Oh, I've also got some more daggers this Christmas. Um, if you're an Order of Rings fan, I've got the Elven 
daggers, um, two of like dual wield elven daggers of Legolas, which are awesome. I will shove that in the video at some point, whether this one or another one. But yes, so we have some things to go through today. We are probably going to start with the easiest thing, maybe. Pop those up. We're going to play around with the mic. We're going to see if we can get this all set up. I hope I've got all the connections required to do this. Uh, we're probably going to look at getting a, um, a shock mount and a pop filter to go with this. Uh, just make it a little bit better because shock mounts can be quite handy and uh, they're not that expensive either, so it makes sense. So uh, let's get started with maybe these lights that might be the easiest thing. I've got to figure out if they're actually battery powered or come with a cable. We're about to find out. Right, so the first one we've got here is the, the, the PlayStation Icons light. Uh, I think this is probably going to be battery powered, so this should be pretty straightforward. Unboxing video. Okay. That's pretty cool. Ta-da, but it does have a USB with it, so I'm wondering if it's just you just connect it to the computer and you power it that way. <coughs> If that is the case, we might have to. Oh, you can put batteries in it. There's a little compartment on the back there. Put the screwdriver. So uh, that's going to be pretty straightforward. Uh, da, da. The fact that it's powered by USB as well as battery, we may have to sort something out with regards to where we put it, if that's the case, because. Uh, I don't have any power sources over here, and this is obviously not going to reach my computer, but for the sake of the video, we'll plug it in and we'll, uh, we'll see how it lights up. So if I plug it into my computer, do, 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 do. Uh, the other way, there we go. Go on, yeah, yeah. Okay. Is it in yet? So I think I'll press that. Ta da! That's pretty cool. I like that. That's really, really cool. So I need to find a place for that. I might actually put it up on the computer behind the unit there, which I will show you so you can see where we put it. So that's it lit up there. If I turn the lights up, you can probably see. That's pretty cool. I actually like that. That's really, really good. So that's that one there. Let me pop you back down. There. It's kind of alright. Yeah. I don't know. These camera angles are Roman Grey, I know. So then this is also going to be USB powered with the optional battery power with it. So we'll have to get some more um, you know, like USB to 3 pin <coughs> plugs to go with it. But that's the Overwatch one. And what I'll do, the easiest thing I think right now, that's probably not a good angle for you guys, is it? Uh, if I plug, if I unplug the PlayStation one and plug the Overwatch one in, you can see it. Uh, ish. Uh, oh, there it is. Now, oh, turn the light off again, and whoa, there goes my headphones. <coughs> Hyperx Cloud 2s, highly recommend. Ta da! Overwatch! That's really, really cool. So, we'll probably leave those up there for a minute, and uh, we'll move on to the next thing. My room is too small. My angles are shocking. Can you see me? Papa, can you see me? There we go. Right. Uh, so, 
we've got, I might have to move things around and we've got this piece next. This is, <laughs> this is a problem because I really need to sort my desk out. My desk is an absolute mess right now. I've got this here. This is normally the neatest area because it's actually where I work. That's not what you think it is. I get sweaty hands when I play. I dry my hands. I continue playing on the mouse. So, um, yes, all of this is what I need to clear up. I've got so much fucking letters there, crappy paperwork, PlayStation's there. I'm gonna have to move this around because my mixer's gonna have to go like around here somewhere. So, let me. Oh, this bloody angles in these rooms. Let's see if I can put you there for a minute. Preparations of a pro. Yeah. Okay, so right, let me just scoo do 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 these things around. So that by the way is the shield plaque. Um, I need to build this. This is the leg of that stagger, so you put some bits in there and then the daggers go across that way and then you put it on the wall and it's like oh but up there somewhere. Yes. Yes, I have got the screws for the wall as well. So, next video, put this on the wall. I've got a long sword to sew still, like a big fucking King's Merlin sword thing. I've got to put that in the other sword video. We'll do that next time. So, water. Stay hydrated. Water's important. Uh, microphone beer. And let's keep tradition. Just dump everything under the desk where it's not seen. I've lost weight. Jersey's falling day. I need to sort it. This is a mess. Absolute mess. I don't know why I have this TV in here. I never use it. It's a fact that they're clothing. It's not. It's has to be pleasing the children. What are you on about? Put those there. So, if I move, put that next to you there. Put that, I don't know, there. That fucking screw is just laying around. I don't know. Maybe I'll put that over there. I do not know. It may work, it may not. That's my controller, where's the... Sorted, right, that's on charge. Put it over there, because my controllers are never charged. Put that there, that there. Right, so. <coughs> Xenix X1204 USB um, mixer. Shit, I need to plug this in, so. Ugh. That's and it actually comes with the um, the AB cable. So, like um, the Blue Snowball mic um, and like a printer, they use AB what they call an AB connection um, to plug the the mixer into the computer itself and a standard kind of kettle lead to a three pin for UK plug. Uh, we're gonna have to dive under the desk again to fit this in somewhere. Uh, so if we put that on top of the PlayStation for now, that's not gonna be a problem. Um, probably won't use the USB extension block because they're not normally that powerful. They don't seem to output enough power normally. So if I disconnect that there. You can run low low input power through the, the USB block, but for example, I've got my phone there. I can transfer files with the block, but it'll never really charge. Same with the PlayStation controller. If I plug the PlayStation controller into this block, I don't know what the um, the output power is on them, but they're, 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 they're very, very low. Uh, but it works for the Stream Deck, FYI. Right, so we've got our connection there for that. Let me just disappear under the desk. They're looking at me, right? I'm going to give you an affordable one. 
found one. Okay, so if I do do that, stay. Right. Did I expose myself? I hope not. Stop looking. Um, right, so I'm going to What's this one? What are all these cables doing? So you get a plate here, so it looks like you can uh, mount it up on the wall if you really wanted to. We even bolt it down on the desk or an angle. We're not going to be doing that. And then we go to the Here we go with. Behringer Zenix X1204 USB powered, well, USB connected um, mixer. We're just gonna, we're just gonna tear this one open. So this is probably, or definitely, um, way over the top for what we need. Um, I have a habit of future proofing, so. We can have four XLR mic inputs on here, as well as your monos on the other links. So, although it looks very busy, if you treat it as a line on each, that's all you're going to be using. So when we plug our mic into this one here, all of these become pretty much obsolete. We're not going to be using them because it's just that channel that we're running through along with these dials here and your, your main volume testers through these sections here. So although it looks very busy and very complicated, you're eliminating over 50% of the, of the mixer as soon as you, you, de you dedicate your one mic input. So, and then you've got your connection on the back, your power, phantom power, and then you've got your, your main outputs here and your also outputs there. And that's a USB connection there. We're going to be run from there to the computer. And obviously I'll get all the power into this. So, they should both be off. Which I think is weird because the off button is down and the on button. That's what it seems like. So, that into there. That's just connected. I heard that through my uh, speakers. And that's it. That plugged in, magic, look at that, uh, like a doofus nerdo, I might actually keep the instructions out, because I do not know what I'm doing, you know, get in there, get in there, right, so, we leave that, I'll talk about the PlayStation, perfect play, so perch and stuff on top of, they do have a purpose, guys. That's the USBs of PlayStation, look at that. Right, so, if I dump some of this stuff off my chair. How many comments are going to get? Like, these angles are not working. I don't know, I'm using my phone. What can I think? I'm not a professional. I don't know, if it's down there, major. PlayStation lights, light, lights, lights. You go down there, we sit on chair, and then we go, hello there. So, uh, <coughs> this thing, my special bull. Ooh. Headphone users. Stop it! Um, yes, yeah, so we need to, I'm gonna have to replace this. So that's uh that's really annoying. So I think that comes with the right connection. It's what this is shown here. This should be what we put on the end of this. 
up a bit, Jay. There we, there we go. Camera skills. Um, I think that's what we're going to put on this, so we'll uh, probably do this with one hand, right? Easy. One hand. Uh, righty tighty, lefty loosey. You watch me drop this. Twisty, twisty, turny, turny, twisty, turny, twisty, turny. Hey, there we go, a magic ball. Grant me one wish. Okay, so if I go do be do do be do be do, and you get the da da, that's better. Right, so one blue snowball. Can anyone confirm, right? Because I'm sure when I bought this, I got the tripod stand with it. I'm almost certain, but I think I lost it. Let me know in the comments if the blue snowball came with the. Um, why am I doing that? What a f You know what I mean. A little tripod. Did it come with one? Tell me. If so, I might have to buy another one because I do want to still use that because we are doing something possibly in the new year with a new channel like a um, <sighs> podcast, talk show, thing, something. Yes. So we need two mics for that, obviously. Uh, we want to have people over to do it and then we'll use people... Uh, on Discord and other channels like so, um, when they are not on my doorstep. So this is the Audio Technica AT2020 mic. It's an XLR mic. Um, I've heard really good reviews about it. I've actually got someone that I know that actually uses this for streaming as well. Uh, it's a condenser mic, and it's just hopefully a bit of an upgrade to what we were using, which was the uh, Blue Snowball. So. Come to this package. Actually, <laughs> I haven't opened these at all. This is the first time I'm doing it. Can you see it right from that angle? Yeah, the lighting's not great, is it? Sorry, guys. Let me do that. That's beautiful, your eyes. Right, so, it comes with a really nice bag. That's got a really nice bag, which I will show you. The microphone itself. There. Really nice. It's, it's weighted. It's not a uh, super light. It's probably. Do you know what? It's probably a little bit heavier than the blue snowball. So it's really, really good. It feels. It feels premium. That's the word I'm going to put. It feels premium. Uh, really nice. There's your XLR connection there. So we pop that out of the bag, but I'm going to pop it back in its slot for a second, just so it's safe. And then see what this funky bag has for us. It's really, really nice. Audio Technica on the side. It's like a, a leather bag. Probably not real though, though let's be honest. Nope. And we've got a zip. And inside there is our connection. So this, that's. Was that? That was literally all that was in that bag. But you could use this if you wanted to carry. The mic to another location if you're doing something with someone else and they've got an XLR connection but not an extra mic. You could carry your mic in there with your connection. That's really nice. So, hopefully, you can see this a little bit. Um, move that around, which we may probably end up using it at that angle. And I believe it's as simple as, without reading the instructions, you probably should, connecting this onto here. Without cross threading it, like so, get a good. As a safety feature, that's good. That actually rotates on its own without ruining and damaging the thread. And we've got this here, which we can move around. And then I believe it's as simple as grabbing this. Let's tilt that down a bit. And then rotating that onto there. But it probably actually goes that way. Read the instructions, folks. Don't do what I do. What's... <laughs> What's that do? Ah, see, 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 we're getting somewhere. Again, you want to be very careful you don't cross-thread things. It seems like it is, so we've got to be very careful. But yes, you can rotate...
There we go, is that right? No, I'm not happy with that. Hang on. Hang on. Let's do this properly, shall we? Do this properly. Get your nerd on. Read instructions like an idiot. Uh, the sixth young. Oh, so we made a guess anyway. We can't be far off because uh, it doesn't tell you. It does not tell you. Let me just have a look at. Yeah, yeah, so that's enough. So, I mean, to be really fast, I guess we could do that. We just. Hello! That's exactly how it looks on there, so you've got that bit there. So let's get let's get it looking the way it does in the image. That would make sense. So get that. Da, da, da. We're definitely going to need a shock mount for this, I reckon, just to make it a bit of extra sturdiness. Let's just pop that in there. Let's get the XLR cable in, and then we'll feed the XLR cable through this, and then twist that into place. That is going to be our best option. Now, where did I put that cable? Ba 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 ba. Where did I put the cable? Uh, da, da, da. That's not it. That's not it. How oh, did did it? I have too much stuff in my room. Do you know when uh, you say you put things away, you put them in a safe place? That's what we've done. We put it in a safe place. What's that? Got it. I saw this earlier on and I thought it was a display port cable. But nope, this is actually our XLR cable. Right, so, so we've got plenty on there. We might actually use that to wrap around the boom arm just to keep it slightly in place. So, we want, so it is a male to female. So, Female end into the mic, male end into the uh, to the mixer. Let's uh, feed this into there like so, and that clicks into place. You hear the click? Probably not, but it clicks into place, so you know when to do it. And I'm going to disconnect that now. Yeah, that doesn't come out easy, that's good. So we actually pass that over now and do it properly. Click in the place. Squeeze that back in to get that over. And then we can start rotating this. And it looks like it's going to place a lot better than it did the first time. Doesn't feel like it's cross-threading in any way. And there. We have a new mic. Beautiful. Right, so we can get this, get rid of that thing, um, which will also give us another USB connection available, um, which is going to be technically automatically replaced by the, the mixer. So let's just run this cable where we need it to go. So now we've got the other end of the cable here. We're probably going to use the first line here because it just makes sense to do so. Uh, line up that, and that's literally 
in place. So once we turn all this on, this row here will be our active row to control that new mic there. It's as simple as that. He says it's as simple as that. I could be wrong, but we're about to find out. So, right, uh, we have, technically, we have the mic in, we have the cable in. Maybe we should just neaten it up a little bit, because it's currently sagging down worse than your grandma. So, if we do, we need to get rid of this cable. I need to, I need to stop going off on a tangent, because I like to Keep all gone. So, we now have the XLR mic in place. And we can sign that up, that's good, I like that. We move that around clearly. We have that right here, which is what we normally like. Um, let's just use, let's just get it up and around here. Right there. And then we can put another one on the other side of the boom arm here. And it just keeps it tucked away a little bit. We don't want cables sagging around and getting in the way or getting caught. And obviously we've got some we've got a loop here. I'm hoping you can see that. I'll have to keep coming back and check you can see. So that loop there will allow us to pretty much fully extend this out and move it around. Cable's out of the way, but uh, it's not tugging on the actual mic at all. It's like that. It's perfect. So that is a microphone. All set up and up. Away. We're done. We're smashing this, guys. Absolutely smashing this little unboxing that we're doing. Now, we have done that. I will try and do a video coming up of the, the mic all in, um, in use and uh, once I've figured out kind of what I'm doing with it, how to use it. But so far, I mean, it's that. Just look at it, it's lovely. It does look really nice. Um, it's definitely an upgrade. Just play around with it. Find it however we want. Tonight's radio show. Um, and then the last thing we got is The brand new K65 RGB mechanical keyboard. I, I really like the look of this one. And apparently, I think on this one, I can do more with, because we love lights. And I think we can do more with the lights. Because currently on, let me move my headset out of the way a little bit more. Let me bring you over here. So this is our current out. I love Corsair, by the way. You probably noticed I've got Corsair keyboard. Corsair mouse, I've got Corsair Vengeance uh, RAM, I've got H110i Corsair all-in-one uh, liquid cooler for the CPU, I've got Corsair, you just see the logo there, Corsair headset there, um, although I'm currently using the Hyperx Cloud 2s, I've normally used the Corsair for PlayStation. Um, this keyboard has served me well for the past couple of years, my wife bought me this uh, a few Christmases ago, I love the lights, it's a great keyboard feels really good but like I said when I'm playing games I've got some movement here which is great but I can sometimes knock into that is really really annoying um, so I just want something a little bit more and look at all that room I have BAM and that's what we're gonna go with so let me put your back up there move that up there ha huh. let's have a look so this is the K65 RGB, which is Cherry MX, and uh, obviously Cherry MX, that means it's a mechanical keyboard. Let me grab my, grab my knife again. Uh, for some reason I keep grabbing one of the more blunt knives. Elven dagger. Oh, just notice we've had no... No peels, we've nothing to peel off. This is a shame. This might have something that we can do that with. Ooh, this is nice. So, straight 
straight out of the box we got a little manual there, K65 RGB, quick start guide. We also have like upgraded buttons, like your WASD and then your, your typical other keys that you would use quite often. Um, that looks like another W, D, R, F, E and O, I think. I'm not too sure, I think it's because they're like, um, I don't know how well you can see this, I'm going to come across. Um, probably not very well, but it got like a, um, how do I explain that? It's like a kind of rubberized feel to it, so I guess it's meant to be better. I don't know. I don't really need that. Cable tucked away at the back, which is a very thick braided cable, which is a lot thicker than the braided cables I've got with the, uh, the current mouse and keyboard setup. Slide that up there. We also, it comes with the old keyboard kind of rest pad here. It's quite nice. I might have a look at that. I don't normally use them. Uh, that's it. And if we do that, there is a beautiful K65. That is really nice. It's, it's quite heavy as well. It's probably just as heavy as the one I've got there. But the difference that makes... Oh, Christ, this uses two connections as well. We have to look at our USBs. But you look at the thickness difference. Well, in fact, if I bring you around here, our K55 isn't braided at all. Right? And then, let me just see if this helps a little bit. So, yeah, that's our K55 one. This is... I think the M65? Doesn't say. Pretty sure it's the M65. That's the braided connection there. That's the braided connection on the keyboard. It's a monster. Absolutely huge. So that's really, really thick. And it's a twin connection. Which I think one of my old. What was that brand I had? A Rockat, I think it was. Rockat Velo um, keyboard I had years ago. Um, had two connections on it. That. That is beautiful. Oh. Ah, the sound of Chevy MX. You can actually see them underneath there, look. Proper mechanical. It's like a stainless steel finish. Really, really nice. And we do, we do have a peely peely. Which I'm absolutely screwing up. It's only a small one, but we did have a peel. So that is going to be our next quick changeover. And it should be a very quick changeover, it's literally USB and USB. So the only difference is they always use the same style, same pattern and uh, shape for the USB. So I've got mouse and keyboard both looking the same. Now I've got to figure out which one's actually which. And I'll pick the right one. Monster. So if I do... If I do that... Disconnect that. Disconnect the mouse. Put that there. Now, we slide this cable. Look at that. Boom. Done. This I will not be getting rid of. I will definitely keep this as a backup. And if I do get a double PC setup, um, one to stream and one to game, then I will definitely be bringing that one back into action. So I'm going to take the cable tie off, and then you've got your twin connections here. You're going to feed that under the monitor, same as the arse one. Take as much cable as we can. Well, that didn't work because I went through the gap in my other monitor. You go through the gap, you swine! like that so feed that down and they're gonna go a witch away a witch away a womba way that way I don't know yeah it's the other way always that way right so that ends there whoo buddy lights right okay. I've got boxes everywhere I'm surrounded by boxes and that's Ladies and gentlemen, 
is the K65 Pro. Just look how much room. I'm gonna have to stand up for this. Look how much room that makes. Oh, so much difference. How much I've got there that I can now use. And I love how it automatically comes in with the. It's got the red accent, and you've got your your directional keys here with your WASD here. Just lit up in like a, a kind of ambient whitey blue color. Really nice. But for anyone that doesn't know, with Corsair products, you can download a software called IQ. That's I C U E. I'll probably link it in the description below. And what that allows you to do is um, <clears throat> you can synchronize and customize all the lighting patterns on the majority of course their products are RGB and have the um, they're gonna have I believe the multicolor um, key back lighting or something else it normally normally says pretty much maybe all the RGB stuff these days I think the majority of their stuff they're gonna bring out now will have that ability um, but yeah, you can see there it states lighting modes, and you can have all sorts of different patterns. Um, on that one, we could do a lot with it. As you saw, I had like a, a pattern of rainbow colors going up and down. I think on this one, because it's a newer one, it's a bit more premium, you could do it like you could press a key and it just kind of like a, a blast of, of, of colors just kind of expand away from that one key that you press. Um, Again, this is a backup computer, so I don't have IQ installed, but I will get it installed, and um, I might do that in another video where we can show what kind of different things and patterns we can do. And also, I want to do a review on this once I get it into use. So, yeah, I am over the moon. We we, we just smashed it. Really, we got the got the new mixer. We got some cool lighting up there. We've got a brand new uh, K65, beautiful keyboard with so much more room here. Uh, we're going to synchronize these lights up together. That's for sure. With the new AT2020 all set up. Probably going to get a new um, boom arm, a shock mount to go with, and possibly a pop filter to go on it. Um, yeah, that has been successful. What a great, great Christmas! Uh, very lucky to get these products, and uh, I'm so excited to uh, get using them. Which I will be hopefully back streaming. Mixer.com forward slash master underscore jinx. Um, I don't even know my own link, is that right? It is, amazing. <laughs> um, I will be back streaming maybe over the weekend using this computer for now. I need to get this video edited, I need to do some other things and still spend some time with some family and everything because it's that time of the year. But um, we should be able to get things back to normal. I'll be doing a video soon. I say soon, in a month or two, once I've saved up a bit more money, because I need to rebuild my poorly computer, which is currently in this box, um, with possibly a, a dead motherboard or um, processor. I'm just going to turn that off for a minute. Yeah, back to me. So, yes, I will need to build a new computer, um, and I will do that the next month or two. And I'll try and maybe do a video of it, and then see where we go from there so yeah that's pretty much everything I wanted to kind of catch up with you guys with and it's probably been a bit long-winded uh, I'm sorry but we got through we could have made a video on every product but I just thought I missed a couple of videos here have this this is a bit of everything you can see the gifts we got you can see me setting it up and uh, yeah I can't wait to give them all a try get some streaming back in get some more videos out and uh, and take it from there. So we'll be on the 27th of December I'm filming this and I uh, should have it out on the same day which is the Friday. We've got a couple of days to go till New Year. Um, if I don't do another video until then, Happy New Year to you all. I hope you had a great Christmas, a great holiday, great break with friends, family, friends, loved ones. Um, and yeah, I will hopefully see you very soon. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much everything I wanted to say. It's, uh, I think I need to have a good clean up in here. I think I'm going to spend a lot of my day setting all this up and playing around and trying to figure out what the hell I actually do with this mixer because I might sound like I know a little bit about what I'm doing. I don't have a fucking clue. So that'll be fun. Um, I will keep you posted with the ideas, like I said, the kind of the um, podcast thing. I don't even know what to call it. It's It's like a web show, I guess. Talking on subjects with different people, the paranormal, uh, serial killer stuff, 
Um, whatever subjects come up, I will. I might do that on a separate channel just to keep it separate to this lot. Um, let me know what you think. If you think I should do it all on one channel and put it in the playlist, let me know. Um, but I know based on other channels, people go on there and expect one thing and they don't like seeing things different. So if you'd rather me do it on a separate channel, let me know and then we can work on that. I don't know what the first episode will be. But I'm really looking forward to getting everything set up. Got a few people already that's interested in doing some stuff with me. And um, I'm definitely looking into that in the new year. I was also thinking of doing like a weekly kind of a po uh, vlog thing. Like My life isn't as exciting to do a daily one. But maybe film a bit every day. Throw it all together. Every Sunday I'll, I'll whack a video out about what it's been because my life is very different to a lot of people my age so let me know if you want me to do something like that if you don't then moving on um yeah i'm rabbiting on now so have a great day have a great time hopefully you're not working if you are don't work too hard because it's near the end of the year enjoy it as much as you can and i will see you all very very soon cheers for watching if you want to like and subscribe go ahead i appreciate it we hit 30 subscribers which is wicked um, so thank you for that, and uh, I'll see you all next time. Cheers, guys.